tell their children that they voted because they were embarrassed? Why do we treat people like that? They're done. In 40 states, they've already done what I had done. Why is Virginia going to be at the end of the line once again and trying to lift people up and give people civil rights back? How many of those were African American and Latino? African American, Latino, white male. Huh. Very yeah. interesting. <laughs> yeah. And, and why is Virginia one of the four states the Constitution permanently disenfranchised the felons? What's that about? I think, uh, unfortunately, uh, back then, I mean, they had a lot of racial issues. And in fact, the state senator uh, who was the Democrat in Virginia actually put it in our Constitution where I stood to give the rights back in 1902, basically said we are doing this, quote, to keep the, the darkies out of the ballot box and let the whites remain supreme. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you can't make this stuff up. And um, that, and I stood at that Capitol and erased what had gone on back in 1902. And it, it, it's just sad. All I'm, all I'm doing is giving people the right to vote back. I'm not giving them their gun rights. I'm not reducing their sentence. I'm just giving them the right to vote back. They're done. They're back in society. They're going to church. They're going to our grocery store. They're paying taxes. Why don't you want them to vote? It is really sad that the public have acted this way. They didn't, this uproar didn't happen in any of the other 40 states, only in Virginia, which is a sad part of our legacy. And is this immediate um, so that they can get in line to uh, register to vote? Oh, yes. I'm, I'm taking immediate action. Um, so these people back register to vote. And listen, as I was saying, um, I think more people are now going to register. Out of the 260 and 13,000, I think because of what they did. And we're going to give the list out to all the people. Anyone who wants to see the list can go register voters. Do whatever they want now uh, because I no longer have my executive order in place. So, you know, we're going to give it to all the different groups. Go ahead and register. Just, as I say, all I'm doing is giving you the right to vote back. It is unbelievable. Here we are in this year, 2016. We're trying to help people. And once again, for no reason, Republicans say we don't want to give these rights to these people back. How many How many have you signed? 13,000? Well, we're going to do this week of 13,000. And then it's short order. Now, in fairness... All right, check this out. Check this out. I believe that this guy is maybe like the governor of Virginia. I got in on the story wrong, but he's playing some type of authoritarian figure. Uh, because if you notice, he's continuously saying, I'm giving you the right to vote that. I'm giving you, like he's God, you know. But at the end of the day, especially like right now when you're dealing with this corporate presidential election, people, get a law dictionary and look up this uh, word presidential electors and by that definition alone it'll prove that the people does not vote the so-called president in okay it's a team of people throughout each corporate state that get together maybe 75 or less or just a little more that actually votes the corporate president in okay so the people don't vote the president in now, people look this up, see the definition, read it, and still go out and think that their vote counts. Hilarious. Hilarious. All right. Um, another thing. He mentioned the Constitution a few times. Okay. But like I said, he's throwing in so many other things. Poll tax. Uh, taxes. You know, a lot of different corporate things that's uh, issued and rules and regulations and regulations within corporate cities and municipalities. Okay? He failed to bring up that the Constitution is the supreme law of the land. He failed to bring up um, their oath of office. Okay? That, they, that they've taken an oath to uphold and support the state and federal Constitution and that it's the supreme law of the land. Also, he failed to uh, mention Article 4, Section 4, wherein it states that the Constitution guarantees a Republican form of government, okay? So these guys, man, you know, just because they say a few things that sound good, you got to get deep. You got to get deep into this issue and know what their obligations are. 
if you don't know their obligations, man, you're screwing up bad. You can't listen to these people, man. You got to find out what's going on for yourself so you can climb out of the rabbit hole, so to speak. All right? Like, these people are liars. They don't tell you exactly what it is. Okay, another thing, people. Um, notice how the, the guy kept saying, um, I'm giving you, I'm doing this, I'm doing this for you. I mean, he didn't say it in an aggressive manner, but he was saying it in a way where, like, he's allowing something for you. So you need to jump on board. That's how he spoke. Look into your city municipality. Okay, now let me explain. If you're from Albuquerque, New Mexico, look and see when that particular city was incorporated and find its charter. If you're from Minneapolis, Minnesota, look into that particular city, see what day it was incorporated, and find its charter. All right? If you're from um, Houston or Dallas, Texas, any any municipality, any city that's in one of the state of the unions, look into it. And you'll see that all of these cities were incorporated, meaning that it's a business and it has a charter lining out what it can do and what it cannot do. Okay? Every business legally supposed to have one okay so that goes back to why these people have um, indemnity insurance or surety bonds because it's ensuring that they properly perform their duties while in office and if they don't it's a strike against them against their surety Okay, which involves the um, obligee, it involves the principal, which is the actual um, um, public official, so to speak. And it involves the, um, you have the principal, you have the obligee, and you have the actual, um, right now I'm kind of, uh, I'm, I'm my, my mind is kind of like blocking out uh, this last one, but uh, I say it all the time, so help me fill it in, people. But anyway, you have a three-way party uh, uh, contract to make sure that the public official is doing his or her job, and when they violate it, that's what you go after. That's why they have these things, okay? That's why you have it. So you have the principal, the obligee, and the surety. That's that's what I was meaning to say, the surety. The surety is the insurance company because they are the ones that is ensuring that you perform properly, okay? The obligee is the corporation that demands that you have a surety bond and the principal is the public official. The public official. Tongue time. So people look. Know that this rabbit hole goes extremely deep. Know that these politicians do not tell the truth. You know, they, they know how to grab into your emotions, but they do not speak truth. Okay? They speak they speak a little truth. They'll mix in a lot of bullshit. And they'll throw in a couple lies, okay? Then they'll leave it to you to figure out what it is. Well, you need to know, like, the order of the day. Nationality. Status. Okay? That's the nationality. That's what it is. Nationality. That's the order of the day. You gotta have it. I'm a little tongue-tied this morning, y'all. I just uh, descended back into my physical body not too long ago, so, you know, I'm all 
right, though. You know, I was in the astral plane. And I, I mean, I had a good time in the astral. I mean, it was very peaceful. I mean, man, that was some good rest. You know. And um, like I said, I just descended back into my physical body. So I'm just trying to get it together so y'all pardon me for a minute, all right? But again, um, that's what it's all about, people. Nationality and knowing the obligation of these so-called people that claim to have authority. And again, the guy that claimed to have this authority, where did he get his authority? Has he produced a delegated of authority from the legitimate Congress? No, he has not because the legitimate Congress has adjourned Senadia in 1861. So there is no legitimate Congress, okay? Hey, I can speak till I'm blue in the face. Until people start to look things up, meditate, get right, get one with self, get away from the TV, get away from the bad foods, get away from the bad people, the negativity, start exercising, getting one with nature, they'll start to get these things. This, I mean, you can't really get this type of information if your pineal gland is calcified, eating um, processed foods, sugars, uh, you know, sodas. I mean, everything that harms your body, you know, everything that harms your body. You know, I was looking, I don't know what I was looking at um, yesterday, maybe. And um, it was talking about, uh, it was a brother talking about how melanated people absorb more sugar and salt than um, non-melanated people. And that's why melanated people, especially in North America, are at more of a high risk for diabetes and hypertension, you know, because we absorb these things due to our melanin, you know, and that and that's I mean that's just like real, you know, that's real. So we we got to sit back and we got to think, people. My whole objective is to make you think, not to make you do anything, just to make you think and analyze the logics. That's my job, you know. Don't try to go out and do what I do because what I do is, you know, I do what I feel, you know. Uh, you know, at certain times, I can be very sporadic. Uh, even though I pre-plan 99% of what I do, you know, but sometimes I can be extremely sporadic and just do things, you know, like that. So, again, my thing is to get you to think, get you to analyze everything, not some things, but everything, and get in a, a repetitious way of doing it. Once you do it on a regular basis, it's like clockwork. You know, it's like clockwork. You come familiar with it. You know, you got it. You know what it do. All right? So, um... That's what it is, people. You know, this information is nothing to play with. Uh, I tell people all the time, it's nothing to play with. And um, I'll have a video that's coming up soon where I'll be talking about. Um, well, actually, yeah, well, I'll be speaking about it. I'll, I'll be coming out with another new private DVD uh, showing how I got a, a huge debt discharge without using the A4V process, you know, the Uniform Commercial Code process, the security party. I didn't use any of that. And um, a friend of mine had um, he had an issue with a credit card company, how they, they, they sued him. And he asked for help. And he was just so, it was kind of funny because he was just so like worried and bothered about this issue. And I, and I told him, I was like, man, that ain't that ain't about shit, you know. 
I'll show you how to do it, man. You know, we just do a few. I'll write a few affidavits, man, and uh, we'll go to the little court date. You know, it was civil. It was a civil issue, so, you know, it wasn't anything to really worry about, you know, as far as being in jail. So I did a few uh, affidavits, and, uh, hey, it ended up all being dismissed, you know. And it was, a, if I can remember, it was a few thousand notes. So I'll be doing that in the future, showing you all uh, on the private DVD exactly what was done. But I'll be doing a video just kind of talking more about it in detail to a certain degree. Uh, I like to show proof. You know, I'm one of those guys, if y'all haven't seen it by now, I like to kind of show you. You know, I show people what I've done, you know. Like the nine charges dismissed without an attorney. If anybody got that DVD, they know that I'm proving, I'm showing that I fought it and they dismissed it. Okay? That's why I want to do this um, uh, video in the near future about getting that, you know, taken away for a friend of mine. And uh, I mean, I've done things as well, you know, so. I just like to show the people because people don't really believe things until they see it. You know, that's for the ones that's motivated. You know, like me because I'm motivated. You know, I'm not afraid at all. You know, because I know the obligations. Uh, I mean, it's nothing to be afraid of. You know, so it is what it is, people. Uh, what else I got coming out? Oh yeah, I got um, I got um. After this video, I'll post uh, about six videos of me before the Moorish nationality. And my whole purpose of per uh, posting these videos is because I want to show people the growth. You know, even before Moorish nationality, I was aware of a lot of different things and I had love for my people, even though I thought I was black at the time. So it's just a series of videos that show me and a few brothers building about how we felt, how we feel about how things go on, you know, in society, you know? So I'm gonna I'm give that to you guys and uh, I mean, you, you'll see you'll see how it is, you know, it's, it's pretty interesting, you know, to see uh, that part of my life and what I, you know, how I deal with things now. Like, I look at it and I compare the two and it's like night and day. But again, at that particular time, I was still aware and still had love for my people. So, it's just to show people that uh, there was a growth period. And it's to show people and motivate people that, hey, if I did it, you can do it, you know. So, that'll be up next. Um, I, I got so much stuff that I'm going to bring to you all to the point where it's just, it's ridiculous, you know. Uh, I'll have some more things on uh, just like more history that I'll be doing in the future as well uh, in the Americas. Uh, Prophet Noble Drew Ali. Uh, it's a lot of stuff, man, I'm going to talk about. So y'all already know how I do it, you know. You know, I'm going to bring that 100% factual, you know, natural factual to your dough. I'm going to bring it to your dough, all right? You know, I ain't going to kick the dough in, but I'm going to bring it to your dough. You know, so um, this is Mario L. Bay. This is my website at uh, www.publishedinfo.net. Um, if you want to contact me, I always respond to emails. You know, you can contact me at publishedinfo at gmail.com. That's published, P U B L I S H E D at gmail.com again I always uh, respond 
normally I respond, you know, you know, pretty quickly, you know. It just all depends, you know. But uh get at me. Islam, I say, take it easy. And I got much love for all my kin folks out there, you know, especially the ones that's motivated enough to try to do what it do to get on the information with this uh get on the Moorish information. Okay? It's always love on my end. Alright? Peace and love, fam.